All right, hello everyone. Hope you're doing good. Wanted to do this video real quick. Something I discovered thanks to my friend Jose Santos. He pointed it out to me. And this is Mio Linux BSPWM. That's with the BSPWM window manager. If you're not familiar with that, it's a tiling window manager. And this was not done by me, this was done by my friend Adarsh. And I'm sure a lot of you will recognize the name Adarsh from past videos. He actually was helping me uh, with several of the last releases of Mio Linux. And this is his version that he did on his own. Uh, so it, this isn't something that I put out, but I'm very happy to have found this. Uh, as you know, I am not the best uh, distro reviewer, <laughs> so I will do what I can, and hopefully I won't embarrass Adarsh. Now, Adarsh, if you're watching this, I did send you an email, and I also tried to contact you on Telegram after you asked for a way to contact me. I sent you an email and sent you a message on Telegram. So hopefully if you see this, it'll give you a heads up that I did try to get back with you. So what we have here, <clears throat> now Adarsh is using, I'm going to assume, a wallpaper changer script. The wallpaper changes every few minutes. He has some beautiful wallpapers on here. The, uh, the display manager is LightDM and he did a beautiful job with it too. Here we have a conky with some general system information, some basic keyboard shortcuts, and down here on the bottom we have polybar, and you have a left click menu which opens up a Rofi menu, so that's nice. You can scroll through here, or you can search, you know, just type uh, let me see, LX, uh, there's LX Appearance, Customize Look and Feel. I'll go ahead and open that up. We can see what we have in here as far as themes and icons. And you can see he has several, several nice uh, widget themes, icon themes we have paper. I like paper. That's a nice theme. And the papyrus icons. Mouse cursor, you get Edueda, DMZ, black and white, and paper. All right. So let's continue on here. Over here we have an exit menu. Now if you click on that, I would advise not logging out in the live session because I couldn't find uh, the uh, username and password anywhere. I'm pretty sure the username is a Darsh, but I can't say that for sure. But you, to operate these, you have to use your arrow key or you can click on one, but then you have to hit enter on your keyboard for it to actually engage. Also over here I discovered if you right click on this menu launcher you get different themes for your polybar. So let's look at one. Uh, let's do deep orange. And the same thing, you, you can use your arrow keys. Oh, there's even more than I thought. Oh, good grief, man. He's got tons. <laughs> I thought all there were were these ones there. Let's see. Let's do uh, deep orange dark. And there it is. All right. Wow, I just discovered something. <laughs> he has a whole lot of polybar themes in there. So that's excellent. Now, one thing... Let's see. Let's look at some of these. 
Super key plus shift D is your main menu. Super shift D and that is D menu. And he has that themed really nice. Let me hit escape out of that. Alt plus F2 is an alternate menu and it's not pulling anything up. Alt F2. Okay, perhaps that should have pulled up this menu. I'm not sure. But Alt plus F3. Let's see what that. Okay, this is the XFCE App Finder. Now that's a nice. While we're here, let's look at. Uh, let's look at what we get and just see if anything jumps out at us. You get the disk utility. I believe that's GNOME disks. Get your HP printer. Uh, you can customize light DM and nitrogen for setting your wallpaper. Uh, development Genie and Icon Browser, which that comes in with YAD. Education Browse, Surf the World. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to click on it. <laughs> you get a PDF document viewer, GIMP and a scanning program under internet. Oh, and he included ICE, so you can make your own custom launchers for web apps. Mozilla Firefox, Transmission, UGET, and Wicked. Multimedia, Audacious for Music, Audacity to clean up any audio files, Handbrake, I've used Handbrake in the past. I haven't used it in a long time, so that's something I need to look at, maybe implementing again in my system. Uh, Parole Media Player, Pulse Audio, and Simple Screen Recorder. Under Office, 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 you get Calc and Writer from LibreOffice, so that's nice. Other HP UI Scan. Under Settings, uh, Grub Customizer, I guess that's GUFW right there, yeah, GUFW. Synaptic and Tent2 settings, I guess if you want to use Tent2 you can instead of Polybar. And under System, Bleach Bit, GDB, File Manager is PC Man FM. Get the Refracted Installer and Snapshot. Sakura is the terminal. All right. So that was basically everything you get on the system. He does have a few launchers down here on the poly bar. Now I think these, I'm not really sure what all these are. I think, oops. Oh. I think I just discovered what all these are. <laughs> these are your different desktops. Okay. Because I know I was doing a simple screen recorder on desktop number two. So I go here to number one. That's where I was, and that was highlighted. Okay, I just discovered something else. <laughs> that's pretty neat, Adars. Instead of just using numbers, he gives all these little neat, characters to represent the different desktops. Um, let's see, he has a quick launch to the terminal. I think that's PC Man FM. Yep, PC Man FM. I don't know how to close a window. I didn't see it on the... Well, I can close it up here. I didn't see close a window on the keyboard shortcuts. Oh, stop application. Super shift Q. All right, let's try that again. Super shift Q. There we go. All right. <laughs> Firefox. I'm not sure what this is. 
So let's click on it and find out. <laughs> I don't know. If it, <laughs> I'm not sure what that does. And here we have, let's see. Oh, that's PC Man FM as root. Okay. Excellent. Super Shift Q. All right. Now let's open up. Uh, let's open up PC Man. Let's open up again. If you want to set your own keyboard shortcuts, I know enough about BSPM, BSPWM to be dangerous with it. So, <laughs> so let's look and see what all he has. Let's see. I know for BSPWM you have to use a, a separate program. Yeah, this is it right here. You have to use a separate program to set your uh, keyboard shortcuts. And I think this is probably the most common. I don't even know if there is another one. But we can look in here. And here will be all of your keyboard shortcuts. And you can either change them around or just come in here and take the time to learn what you, you know, what you need to do. And there's quite a few. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's go back. Um, here's his auto start. Let's see what he has auto starting. Just out of curiosity. Tent two. He's got tent two. Commented out. C bat C battery icon. That's this right down here on the poly bar. He's using LX Poll Kit for authentication, keyboard shortcuts, Compton, Dunst. He's using Dunst for notifications. Okay. Yeah, there's the wallpaper changer. All right. Nice. Sorry, I'm, I'm not using the keyboard shortcut to close things. <laughs> I'll do it this time, though. Let's go back. Uh, polybar. Here's all of his scripts. Very nice. Okay. Super Shift Q. But anyway, this uses the Refract installer. Now he has a page on SourceForge for it, but he hasn't uploaded a file there. I actually found this on OSDN. And I will put the uh, link where you can download it and try it out yourself. Adarsh, it's beautiful. You did a fantastic job. I wish I knew more about BSPWM to give it a, a really good review and make it look like I know what I'm doing, but hey, I'm being, I'm honest. I don't know a lot about BSPWM. I do know that Adarsh, uh, he was always adding BSPWM on any of the Mio Linux uh, ISOs that he would download. So he's probably a lot more knowledgeable, and he's probably rolling his eyes at a lot of the stuff I'm doing, <laughs> but that's okay. So this is, according to... Adarsh Mio Linux BSPWM. It's a 64-bit system. Well, and I, I think right now it's just a. Let's do a uname a. Yes, yeah, 64. Of course, it's 64. All right. I think right now it's only available as. Uh, bio system. Um, I don't know. I don't know what his plans are as far as releasing, you know, anything other than this. But hopefully, a Darsh, if he sees this, will comment and he will let us know. All right, that's it, guys. 
I hope you guys have a great week. I'm going to get busy doing my classes again, so I wanted to, uh, wanted to show this video because it got me really excited for Adarsh. He did some really great work here. And if you're interested in a tile in window manager and you want to go a little bit different than the norm with i3 and things like that, this might be something that interests you. All right. There you go. You guys have a great week coming up and take care. And thanks a lot, Adarsh. It's absolutely fantastic.